Hi, I'm Furhan Bauer. And I'm Jackie Mock. We're both product managers for Windows Live in Microsoft Canada. This is our second part of our five-part Windows Live series. Today, we're going to be talking about Live Maps. Let's go show you some cool features. So here we are on the Sympatico MSN homepage, and I'm just going to show you how you can get to Live Maps. Basically, I can either click on the Live Maps scope at the top of the page here, or go to live.ca, which I'm going to do right now. Okay, let's go. And then from here, just click on the map scope, and I can type in something like Tim Hortons, which is what I'm looking for. And as you see, it's detected my IP, so it already knows I'm in Toronto, and it's already pulled up a bunch of Tim Hortons around Toronto. Okay, so I'm going to just close this, and I can pull up a, a cool mini map here, and just zoom in, and it's showing a bunch of Tim Hortons right around where we are. If I hover over these icons, it gives me a bunch of information, and it's all Ajax based, so nothing has to refresh on the page. You can also see uh, TTC subway stations, and I can hover and pull the map around just in an easy and intuitive way. So for hand show us all the basic features, I'm going to show you all the cool stuff. Let's say we want to just search for a landmark, let's say Parliament Buildings in Ottawa. And just like any items in the live map, you see we have a push pins, we can just click on drive them and drive to and get the driving directions. If you click on Arial, you can see all the great imageries we have. Yeah, what's cool actually is when you click on hybrid, it'll actually overlay road and aerial together. Look at, Look at that. that. Yeah, it looks very yeah. cool. We have the street names, we have the buildings, all in one screen. So let's check out another city. Sure, let's go to Hamilton. And this time, let's see how close we can get. Keep on going. Keep on going. Look at the parking lot. That's awesome. You can almost see license plates. <laughs> That's so cool. If you click on the 3D button here, you get the 3D control. Let's just take Montreal for an example. Great. That is cool. You can zoom in. I like how it's all built into the browser. Yes, it is. Let's say we zoom all the way in into the city. Very cool. Look at that. And look at what this is, Xbox 360 controller. Awesome. And what we could do with this controller is that we can virtually fly over the city. It's like look a video game. This. It is. We can zoom in. We can zoom back out, pan around the city. Look at that. Check that out. Yeah, check that out. Actually, let's try another city. Cool, let's try Vancouver. Oh, sure. Nice, I like that effect. I can just zoom in with my controller as well. Look at the imagery. That's very cool. Let's take a trip over the mountains. Look at this. The best thing I like about this Windows Live map is that we can have our personalized path. Let's say we just went to a Raptors game at ACC and mm -hmm. want to grab something to eat. Yeah, we should go to Swatow. Well, of course. So what I need to do is just add two push pins, one to ACC and one to the restaurant. Right. Just like here. Driving directions, drive from ACC, and I uh, drive to your favorite restaurant, and I just click on this and I get the directions. And as you can see, it also lists out the total distance between the two places. Right, so it says three kilometers, but I think it's faster if we walk. We can actually test that out. What you mean is that we can map a path, personalize the path. Let's say I don't want to take the car, I want to just walk along University Avenue and reach the place. And what's cool is, as you're actually planning the path, it shows you your distance. And you're right, we're actually closer. We're just 2.29 kilometers, less than three. And I can name this as walk path. And this path is just like any other push pins that you can, you can control in live map. Mm -hmm. You can change the name, you can add directions to, edit, send links, drive to, drive from, everything. The Raptors game was good. Yeah, let's go eat. Sure, let's take a cab. Actually, we can walk, so our town's not that far. Oh, really? So here it is. Man, it's freaking far. No, that wasn't that bad. Very cool. Very what cool. I like, actually, is that not only can we create paths, we can actually shade different areas of the map. Let's say right now I want to map out the Chinatown area. And not just I can name this area, I can also change the color. Right, so that really personalizes your map. That's right. You can add in different regions with different colors as well. I like how, how as cool you hover, it automatically shows you the new color. That's right. And also, if I want to send you all this information, including the restaurant, the push pins, the walk path, the Chinatown area, all I need to do is just press the share button. I can share everything in one single collection through email or I can copy everything to the clipboard. So Jackie, as you just showed me, you can share information with our friends. And so now what I want to show you is the last part of the demo, which is collections. 
And what's cool about it is, similar to what the driving directions, I can save lots of information right in Live Maps using Passport. Whoa, so what you're saying here is that if, if I'm a tourist new to the city, I do not know my way around, mm -hmm. I can just ask my friend, send me a list of restaurants, one single collection, right. and I could open it in my Live Maps and find my way around the city to the best restaurants. Exactly, and what's cool about it, like you said, one link sends you all this information. I can hover over these items, see everything, and I've even programmed in additional information like a website. So that's very cool because it's all in one place. People have shared information and we can share collections with each other, but what people are starting to do is share information with the internet. And so what I've done is I've grabbed a Mississauga Traffic Camps collection, which is public, and as you can see, we're already taken right to Mississauga, and what's cool is, Somebody's gone and added in a bunch of traffic cams along the Mississauga roadway. As I hover over these traffic cams, you'll see right away instantaneous images of the traffic at that moment in that place. Wow, this is so cool. So if you check it before you get out from your house, and you save you tons of time going to work. Exactly, and that's what's cool about it. I can actually go along the roadway and hover over each cam and see, should I get on there or not? And I can see the instantaneous traffic. This is such a useful tool. So that's it for Live Maps. Check out Live Map at live.ca.